Uh, we haven't done this in a long time, so we're going to work on this. We're going to uh, take in hits to, to, to the abs, like building up that strength there. Learn how to like breathe out if they hit you there. Like the abs is pretty strong, and we just start off like something light. This is also good for learning how to control your techniques when we're sparring, right? So remember when we do like no contact, and then touch contact, and then light contact, and so on and so forth. So I'll go last. When you're doing it to me, you can start working on that. Like being able to like go from like zero to 10 or whatnot. Or like not zero to 10, maybe like zero to five, right? So I'll be like, all right, do a no contact, touch contact, light, medium, hard, and then hardest, right? So then for everybody else, I'm gonna do it for you because I'm gonna be able to gauge it. And you basically just wanna, you don't have to go like too hard, but you just wanna get used to like breathing out when you get hit. Right, so say if I tap the stomach and you breathe out, when you, you got to tighten it and breathe out. Like, like try to breathe, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go like, all right, we'll start off with touch, yeah. right? Yeah. And then we'll just keep going more. Oh, and we'll see, we'll see who can like go the, 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 with the most. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so just stand there and don't like flinch. You know what I'm saying? Like just stand there and then tighten and go. <coughs> Alright, you ready? No, yes, yes. Alright, so like this will be no contact. Okay. Right? So you just have the time to punch. <coughs> oh, right? Too hard. Okay. <laughs> Alright, touch. Ready? Yeah. More? Yeah. So that's one. More? Yeah. That's two. <coughs> More? Or is that good? Can do one Three. More. You alright? Yeah. Four, is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> <Change my> voice. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> right. Okay. So I have to do. <laughs> breathe out, <laughs> breathe out, and, and, and uh, tighten. Okay? Tighten here. You ready? Is, is tighten the same as flexing? Yeah, flexing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Time it, so breathe out. More? Yeah. Okay, that's one. Two. Sure. Any more? More. More. Three. More. Four. Nice. Five. Oh, shit. Oh, you okay? No, yeah. you're good. Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> Be ready, prepared for attack, know when to tighten, know when to time the hit. Ready? More? That's one. Two. Make sure you tighten it, okay? Is that good? No. You sure? Five was like the fourth, but okay. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Six. 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 You ready? Six. 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 Another one? Okay. Six. 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 You okay? You alright? You alright? Right? <laughs> okay. 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 Alright, everybody wet, right? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, alright. You can film now. So then now, I'll go. So you got. No contact. So I wanted you to get to be get used to doing a lot of speed, but not making contact. Mm -hmm. So that's like you spar and then you punch as fast as you can, but then because there's no contact, you you stop like right by mm -hmm. the nose, right? So here you want to have that, that ability to be able to to stop on a dime, even though you're going like super fast. Mm -hmm. So no contact, and then touch contact where you pretty much go super fast and you touch mm -hmm. with your fingers, and then light contact and then medium contact, and then hard contact, and if I can take it, I'll be like, all right, hit your hardest, mm -hmm. okay? But if I can't take it, I'll just stop you there. So, all right, so, no contact. Touch. Light. Medium. Hard. Okay, um, let me do, all right, go harder than that. All right, hardest. All right, next. No contact. Touch. Light. Medium. Hard. Hardest. Next. Uh oh. <laughs> no contact. I don't know how hard it get was. Touch contact. Light contact. Medium contact. Hard contact. Hardest. Alright, good. Hold. No contact. Touch contact. Touch. There you go. Light. The, the, that, that's, that was almost like touch, so light, light. Medium. Harder than that, because that's, that's like light. That's medium. Too hard. Hardest. There you go. Good. That sounded uh, good. <laughs> so you see what I'm talking about? How you can control your techniques? That's what you want to be able to do with everything. So meaning like the side kicks, hook kicks, I mean all the kicks, all the punches. Have that type of control. Because then when you spar, like you have total control of everything that's going on. Alright. No, no, you can from the back because that's going to be more power. No contact. Uh, touch contact, light contact, uh, medium contact, go a little bit lower, alright, hard contact, hardest, alright, good, so that's pretty much good practice um, for you guys when, it, when I'm doing it, just be able to have control, because um, that's how we're going to have to be able to spar even when it comes to the face, so meaning like, we're not going to punch into the face, but we're going to be doing this stuff, right? So there's like no contact, and then there's touch, and then there's like an actual light, and then like a medium, and then so on and so forth. When we're sparring here though, we're, we can't make fists. So if you're sparring with them, and this touch contact, you don't have to slow it down, but you could go fast and touch. And if they say light, then you got to go fast and then hit them, but don't hit them too hard. And then medium is just the next level, and so on and so forth. So you got to have control of all the techniques like that. And then right here, just being able to have control, like when somebody hits you, that you that you can like tighten up at the right moment, because that's very important. If you're not ready for the punch, you could get hurt pretty bad. That's how people like uh, get the, the wind knocked out of them. Mm -hmm. And if you guys do your research, like Houdini died doing this stuff. For real? Oh. Yeah, because like Houdini, that 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 great um, magician and whatnot. I mean, like, the, um, he would have sledgehammer. Yeah. So what happened was right? this dude. Like this big dude, like this bodybuilder guy, he's like, oh yeah, you can take any punch. And then Houdini's like, yeah. Houdini's like laying down like on the couch and the dude just starts going bam, 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 like on his stomach. And then it ends up rupturing something inside and he ends up dying. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that there's, there's, there's vital organs in here. And these muscles are designed to protect it. So you need to tighten it up to protect it. If you don't tighten it up, then they can get into the vitals and then you can get seriously hurt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like when we do this training, we have to be careful. Like just be respect your body. Be like, all right, that's good. Just like the weights, you know, I'm not gonna go and try to bench 400 pounds because no, I can't do it. You put up as much weight as you can. 
So here, when we do the drill, just like, you know, challenge yourself a little bit, but don't go too much, okay? It's better to do like, get hit a few times than hit like a hundred times. So you, know, so you guys get a feeling how it's like. Does anybody want to do it again or is everybody good? Yeah, do it. You want to try it again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, B punch you, right? Yeah. Okay. More? Yeah. One. Two. You don't gotta move, just stay there. Oh, yeah. I thought I thought you should move with you. Oh! Three. You alright? More? Yeah, one, three. <laughs> oh! You okay? You know what? Wait a second. I thought you were gonna do it again. Anybody else? Yeah. No. I wanna go again because okay. you were pulling your punches. <laughs> I want to know what your actual two and three <laughs> two maybe. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of hard to gauge because I'm trying to add a little bit more. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's like you know. Um, well, we can start from like a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good. See, that's a real four, though. <laughs> you alright? You good? You sure? Yeah, I didn't take another four, but I want to play with a five. Yeah. Good. Yeah, exactly. So the difference is like more. More? Than the Two. <laughs> Two. More? Yes. Three. More? Yeah. Four. Yes. More? Oh. Five. You good? More? Six. You okay? Yeah. All right. Good. 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 Anybody else? I go. No. I'll, I'll go again. Not fun, but Just keep them. Keep them low. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to do it. One. Two. is the more that you weigh, the more that you should be able to take. And another thing too, you notice that we're doing this drill, but we're not angry, right? Because mm -hmm. you gave me, the, I'm asking you, is it okay? And then you guys are like, all right, let me try. So imagine sparring like that, where somebody hits you, but you're not angry. You know what I'm saying? They actually even hit you hard, but you're not angry because you agreed to spar, right? You agreed to go at a certain contact and they ended up hitting you. Why are you angry, right? It, like so, if you can like learn how to take a hit and not get angry, then that's how you know that you got your emotions under control, and then you're gonna get better at sparring. Because I mean, we agreed spar. If I hit you, why why are you getting angry at me? Like I'm helping you try to get better. Same thing with you. You hit me, I'm like, dang, good job, and you got me. You know what I'm saying? Like if if I get hurt, it's almost like, hey, you know, I didn't move out the way in time, I didn't dodge it and duck. You know what I'm saying? Like he got me good. But you know, if the person you know, starts hitting you and you tell them to stop. I mean, that's different, you know what I'm saying? But this is controlled sparring. So, like, this is teaching you guys, like, mm -hmm. all right, your body can take some damage in certain places. If we went a little bit lower, we can't take that damage. Went a little bit higher, this bone right here can't take that damage. But this right here can take damage, this muscle, and also your forearms can take damage. That's why we the wooden dummies. You get strong forearms. So let's say we're sparring, and, and he punches, and I block him. Literally, if, I, if I'm trained really hard or really well, I can hurt him just by blocking him. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. their forearms are, are in pain. They're like, oh, shoot. Like, mm -hmm. say he blocks me, and then I punch, like, ah, like, it hurts. They're like, man, I don't even want to fight no more because it hurts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's why when people, they don't train their forearms right, they, it can end the fight you just blocking them. You know what I'm saying? So, but we have strong forearms, so we're, it's not going to end the fight for us. But for us, some of, some people here might not have much training in the shins, and this happened a lot. Yeah. You know, you, you kick and then you clash and bam, and the person, oh shoot, <laughs> like he's like, alright, I'm done, right? And then the other person is like, fine, he's like, let's keep going, but then he's like, no, it hurts too much, right? So like, imagine training the stomach like that, training the forearms like that, training the shins like that. So then there's no pain when you're sparring. So then every time, it's almost like you're like a walking wooden dummy. Dang. And then they just keep trying to hit you and they keep getting hurt. They're like, dang, I don't even want to fight no more. Because every time I try to punch you, I'm getting hurt. You know what I'm saying? He tries to kick you and then you block, you know, say you block it with your, your, um, your, your kneecap. 
You block your kneecap and he kicks you and he, he hurts his shin. He says, ah! He punches you, you block him here. Boom! He says, ah! He's like, then he, you know what I'm saying? Then you don't even have to hit him and then you defended yourself. You just blocked. You know, and then, and then he tries to punch you and you duck. Boom! Duck again. Boom! Boom! And then he throws a punch and then you block. You keep blocking all his punches and then he has all his pain right here. And then he just ends up giving up. So if you train your body to get strong, then that's how you defend yourself. But we don't. What we don't do is I'm not gonna be like, all right, guys, see how much pain you can take punch you in the face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's pointless. Like don't protect your brain. Oh, so we're not gonna do this stupid game with the mm -hmm. brain. Yeah. But we can't do it here because this the muscle is a muscle. Mm -hmm. It's conditioning. You know what I'm saying? Like we do a bunch of sit-ups. The more sit-ups you can do, the longer you can hold the plank, the more chance that you can take more damage here, and you're not gonna get hurt. Not only are you not gonna get hurt, but it's gonna actually make you stronger. I mean, I'm really, I'm really, you know, I'm really um, proud of how Bolo could take that damage here. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's good at his age. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a that's good job. So, yeah, and, and just everybody did really good. But just, we'll do this every so often. Just mm -hmm. test yourself. Yes. And you know how sometimes people train like this? They'll get like a weighted ball, and then you'll just lay down in the sit-up position and just drop the ball at you. So it's all timing. They drop the ball down, and you just... Sometimes you can like hit yourself just to get the timing down. So it's hard, but if you don't time it right, and then all of a sudden it's it's like it's given in, then that's when they can get into those organs and hit through those organs, and then that's when you get really hurt. That's why the ribs are hard, it's protecting the, the organs. Once they break through the ribs, then you're gonna get really hurt. So the muscle here is designed to protect all that. So make it strong. And you have to be able to time it, because if you're sparring, and then you're not ready, all of a sudden, BAM! And then he's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's like, oh, shit. And then he's like, ah. Oh. You know, like, that's what happens. Like, you're not prepared for it. Mm -hmm. So, like, let your body be able to take damage when necessary, but don't let your face and your head get damaged. Because football players, even when they got helmets, it messes up them up. So even if you have a helmet, your head's going to get jacked up. So the whole objective is to be able to move your head out the way, don't get hit, and if you do get hit, let them hit the limbs while you defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's part of the training, and just remember that, alright? Alright, so we can stop that there, and um, go ahead and take a quick picture.